Make sure to install the machine on a stable, flat, and level surface, such as a sturdy table. Turn the adjusting screws to adjust the feet so the machine sits securely on the surface and is not subject to undue vibration. Spool Stand You need to assemble the spool stand and install it on the machine. Insert the two poles in the sleeves of the spool stand and secure them with the screws from the bottom. Attach the thread guide bar to the poles with the two screws supplied. Next, place the assembled spool stand on the machine, aligning the three holes in the spool stand with the machine. Secure the spool stand with the three screws supplied. Insert the nine spool pins into the holes in the spool stand, then set the felt rings in place. Felt rings of two sizes are provided to accommodate various sizes of thread cones and spools of thread. Use the large rings for large thread cones. For small thread cones or for spools of thread, use the small rings. Hoop Supporter Loosen the two thumb screws on the hoop supporter. Hold the hoop supporter with both hands and place it under the carriage plate, inserting the neck of both thumb screws into the notch on the carriage plate. Tighten the thumb screws clockwise to secure the hoop supporter. RCS Unit Optional Although the MB4 can be operated as a standalone unit, you will need the optional RCS unit to take full advantage of its remarkable functions. These include a PC card, USB memory device compatibility, and downloadable design data, which can be accessed via the optional CD-ROM drive. If you are using the RCS unit on a tabletop, simply insert the connector into the socket on the back of the MB4. Extend the two legs on the back side of the RCS unit so it rests on an angle for easier viewing. Please note that the RCS unit can be mounted on the MB4 if there is insufficient space in your working area. Loosen the thumb screw, open the mounting arm, adjust the angle of the arm, then tighten the thumb screw. Loosen the screw knob and set the RCS unit on the arm by hooking the RCS unit on the pins. Tighten the screw knob securely. To adjust the viewing angle of the RCS unit, loosen the screw knob on the end of the mounting arm and tilt the RCS unit. Tighten the screw knob securely. Insert the connector into the socket on the machine. Fold the cable and stow it under the spool stand. Connecting the power supply. The MB4 is equipped with a power supply cord and grounding plug. Please be sure to connect the MB4 to a properly grounded outlet. Before connecting the power, make sure to turn the power switch off. Insert the machine plug into the socket on the machine. Insert the power supply plug into the grounded outlet. Turn the power switch on. 
The LCD screen of the sub control panel will show W00. Protecting your hands from unintended contact with the machine, press the Enter button. The carriage will move to the home position. The LCD screen will show W01. Press the Mode button to start a new project. Press the Enter button if you wish to continue your previous pattern. If the optional RCS unit is connected, a warning message appears on the screen when you turn the power on. Press the OK key and keep your hands clear. The carriage will move to the home position. Next, a confirmation message will appear. Press the OK key if you wish to continue sewing using the pattern last used before you turn the power off. Or, press the Exit key to start a new project.